In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a rotator in Click Magic in terms of tracking your links. Now, if you have more than one offer, this is really good for you because you can take this rotator and send it out to your prospective advertising like solo ads, Facebook ads, and YouTube ads, and having it all rotating all at once using multiple links. So you want to pay attention to this because we're going to do step by step style. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. Now, if this is your first time here, hit that red subscribe button right below this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell when I do videos just like this. Now, you know what time it is. Let's talk about setting up a rotator that it can basically advertise more than one link at the same time in Click Magic. Now, if you don't have a Click Magic account, go ahead and click the link below in the description box. You can sign up for a 14 day free trial for Click Magic, and it's a way of tracking your website. So, you definitely want to track your website because you want to know exactly where the clicks are coming from, and you can go ahead and make key decisions based off tracking your business. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in here and I've done a video about this before in terms of the basic fundamentals of click magic. This is more of an advanced style because we're going to go over rotating multiple links at the same time. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and sign up a free account right below this video in the description, 14 day free trial. Since I'm already am a member of click magic, I'm going to go ahead and just log in right here. So first you want to go ahead and log in right there. The next thing you want to do, let me go ahead. The next thing you want to do is click on rotators. You want to click on rotators. Now, basically, this is the basic information that you want to do when you set up a rotator. These are previous rotators I've set up in the past, and it worked out very, very well because I'm using multiple links at the same time by using one link when I'm advertising. Yes, it sounds pretty cool. So definitely brace yourself for this. So the first thing you want to do is give it a rotator name. But I like using groups because when you're using groups, you can go ahead and basically group all your links in one. So if you're saying you're using one opportunity, so you can say you can go right here and you can set up a free rotating group. So I can say, let's go ahead and say this is going to be um, Facebook group. This will be my Facebook group. Let's say I'm using Facebook ads or something like that. So you can go ahead and use that group. And then when you click on rotator here, when you click on rotating group, it's right there. So I could say this is a Facebook group. The next thing I do, I want to use a rotator name. What's the name I want to do? Use a multiple links now. So you can have multiple opportunities. So let me go ahead and I'm going to change this real quick. I'm going to use testing. But this is going to be a test. So let me go ahead and use test. Testing one, two, three, four. So this will be a test group here. You don't have to use rotating groups. You can actually just use this. You can keep this, keep this blank or use all, but I like using groups to go ahead and just managing everything together. But you don't have to use rotating groups. Rotator name. So I'm going to use a name. So this could be name of like what you're, what you're advertising. Let's say you have one opportunity, one online business opportunity, but you have three offers in that opportunity. Let's say you have three offers and one opportunity. So you can basically use this rotating name can basically be the name of your actual advertising. So let's say I'm going to buy some solo ads advertising from a guy named Jim, right? So Jim tall. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to run 300 clicks and the date's going to be April 4th. 10th of 2020 okay so that could be my rotating name this is the person that i got the advertising from tim jim tall a solo ad um 300 clicks as i purchased and i just put the date on there that's something basic you don't have to use this this format but this is something that you can remember because remember rotating name is an area where people will actually that you would actually have to pay attention to so let me go ahead and do that and then a rotating link you can use this blank because when you click on submit at the bottom here Clay Magic will automatically put in information in this box for you. But I could just say Jim Tall 300, something basic. Now, the backup URL is really set up 
where that if something happens to the links that's going to be added into the rotator, it will always go back to the back of URL. So you need to have this filled in here. So you want to have your opportunity in here as well, just in case that something happens to those other links in there. It's kind of a backup URL. And also, let me go back to rotating mode. I forgot about this. So this is basically showing you how you want your links to be going ahead and presented. I use the sequential a lot, but you want, if you're not sure, click on the question mark right there. So this will show you exactly what those mean. For field mode, we'll send all traffic to the first active URL in the rotator who's including repeat clicks from the same user. Spillover is we'll send traffic to each URL in the rotator one after the other as repeat use users hit your rotator multiple times. So it hits multiple times. Random mode is basically exactly how it sounds. It's just what it sounds like. It will distribute your clicks in a completely random manner to all active URL. And sequential mode will send incoming click to each rotated URL in order. Then when it reaches the bottom, it will simply start over again at the top. I use this a lot more often. Let me go ahead and click this. More often, sequential, because I want everything to be in order. But random mode would work, spillover mode would work, and fulfill mode would work. So if you're not sure, you can always click on that right there. Let me go back to where I was. So click on the um, click on the, the question mark if you're not really sure, and you can make your, your decision there. So we're going to put sequential right here. Or let me see, fulfill. You know what? Hold on. Let me go here. I might use fulfill. I like fulfill. So fulfill will send all chat to the active or repeating click number of click for the bonus. So I think I may use fulfill here for this example here. So we're gonna use fulfill. So we're gonna use fulfill mode here. The backup URL could basically just be a backup link that you want to go ahead and use. So I'm going to go ahead and use something that I've used before. So here is create rotator. When you click create rotator, I'm going to click on the group name. Remember that we created and go to testing one, two, three, four. This is your rotator name, Jim tall, 300 clicks. And I put the date in there as well. The fulfill mode is fulfillment. And we, we have not really sent any link activity that it has. So here are the URLs, which is zero. We don't have anything that we've added yet. We will go ahead and add that. And of course, this is total clicks, unique clicks, flag clicks. And of course, you have the clicks to back of URL, which will be the link right here. So the next thing you want to go ahead and do, remember, this is make sure this is basic, is go ahead and we want to go ahead and add additional links. So you want to click on right here at this toolbox right there, and you want to go ahead and click on add URL. So we're going to go ahead and add links. So the name you want to go ahead and add, you can add in the name is something that you remember, you'll remember by. So your prospects do not see this name here. So URL and the name. So the name can be basically say um, online business, business, uh, number one, I don't know. That's in, uh, well, you know what? Online business offer number one. That's just something me can remember by. And the, basically it could just be, uh, let me look at here. I don't know, we could just do this. So this would be my first offer here. Click on add rotate URL, make sure this is active. Now you can go ahead and pause it and archive it after or during the process if you want to, but you wanna go ahead and click on active here add to rotator URL. So now you see here, it says one out of one because we just added one. Let's go ahead and add one more. So we go back here and we'll go ahead and go to add URL and we'll say online business offer number two and we'll do another link here. Let's go and do this one here that's already there. Make an example, add rotating URL. So we added two RS. So we have two offers plus a backup, which if all you gotta do is click here and you'll see it right here. Remember we did fulfillment and here's the backup URL right here. So we're gonna add one more. Let's add one more here. So let's add URL 
and let's go online business number three and this is going to be let's see let's add another one so add url click on add rotator url and now you see right here three out of three fulfillment mode remember this is our rotating group name and here is the dates and what we, if you want to view all the URLs that you put in there, which is your offers that you're sending out, you want to go to show URLs, click on there and voila, you see all the ones we created online business offer one, two, and three, they're active and we have not sent anything out yet. So that's why all this is zero here. You can always edit by here. You can edit the URL if you want to, you can delete it. Or you can reset it. Reset URL is basically resetting the information here. So that's what that means here. And you also can do this. You can also can move them. So you can actually move it here. Uh, if, I, if you want to change the actually order of the offers, you can do that right there. We'll just keep that there. And that's it. The next thing you do, you want to do is test. You always want to do is test. Now, this is the link. One link will actually represent three offers including your backup URL one link that's pretty cool so 300 clicks will fulfill fulfill these three offers including a backup URL if needed so if we want to go ahead and test it here we want to go ahead and click on preview link right there at the magnifying glass click here and you'll see the first offer this is the first offer we did that's the offer number one and if I do it again, preview link again, this should be offer number two. Hi there. I'm Joel Kelman. Make sure. Make sure. Okay, we did fulfillment. Okay, let's go the sequential. Fulfillment means it's going to be exactly on that same one. So let's go ahead and do sequential. T sequential. <laughs> I think I'm saying it wrong. Uh, let me go here and do that. Because because basically fulfillment means it'll stay on that link. Let me go ahead and do. I want to do the order. So that's the first offer. Okay. This is the second offer. Yep. That offer number two. And this is the third offer. See, that's three offers. And if I do it again, remember just previewing, it's going back to order. So sequential is the one that goes in complete order. Random will just be randomly. They may pick one and may go back to three, go to two. And fulfillment, basically, they'll stay on that one. And then eventually they'll move on to the next one. So hit this question mark, the one you want to de definitely want to do. But this one here is my favorite. I like to go in order. This link, this link, this link, this link. And use the backup link if needed. And you can click on that information there as well. So when you're advertising, you want to use this link here. When you're going ahead and advertising this link, give this to your solo ad provider or your advertising provider give them this link here and they'll go ahead and start the process and what happens is you can actually see the stats do you see right here is three three total clicks and one unique click because i went ahead and was already had a little bit of activity there so you'll start seeing activity if you want to see more in-depth activity you just click on this here and show activity and it actually breaks it down exactly here so five hits one hit, one hit, one unique click, and today one click here. It's really, really cool. And you see all the outstanding information here as well. So guys, this is what you'll do. You'll use this link here to go ahead and advertise. And this is more advanced, basic advanced pretty much using a rotator of how you can, you can go ahead and represent multiple links using one link at the same time. So my name is Adam Shelton. Don't forget, right below this video, there is a 14-day 14 14-day 14 free trial with Click Magic. 14-day free trial. You can check it out. And also, I've done other Click Magic videos before. I'm going to do another one that discusses a little bit more about Click Magic functions, a little bit more information details. But this is more advanced by rotating. So definitely, definitely watch this video if you need to watch it again. Because trust me, when I was learning how to do it, I had to watch multiple videos just to understand exactly what to do. So click on the link below here in the box, description box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share this message for you for you to go ahead and enjoy it and building your business using Click Magic.
All right, that's all I got. I see you guys on the next video. Don't forget, get your 14-day free trial in the description box right below this video, and I'll see you on the next video.